Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for tuning in and coming back and watching. I appreciate it. I hope your day is going great. And I thought I'd do a workflow video today, something a little bit different. And that is a lot of my videos around the Luminar um, uh, or Topaz, really anything, are just in that application. And so I'll just go into that app in standalone mode, for example, and say, you know, here's some tips and tricks and here's how you do this or that or whatever. And I thought I would do something a little bit different. And this is more of a true full workflow video. And that is, um, how do I take my photo from inception, like, hey, I'm sitting in my Lightroom library, which is where my photos are stored. How do I take it over there and what do I do there versus what do I do in Lightroom? So I thought it'd be a little bit of a, I don't wanna call it behind the scenes, but more of a true workflow video. So let me hop into that. Um, here I am in Lightroom. And so I run Lightroom Classic and um, I like Lightroom, to be honest. Like I, it keeps my primary library there. If you go over here to library, I've got all these different folders and all that, but I've got 247,000 photos in Lightroom. Um, and so I keep all those on external drives with multiple copies and we don't have to get into my backup scheme as well. But um, I do use Lightroom to manage my photo library. Uh, as you probably also know, I have a subset of that, which is about half of that photos, uh, that quantity of photos in Luminar 3, which is kind of my Luminar 3 library. Um, but it's not my primary. I still have everything in Lightroom. So I thought what I would do is walk through kind of what I'm doing here versus Luminar, etc. And so, um, and, and the truth is I like Lightroom. I've used it for years. Um, I used to use Aperture years ago, but once I dropped that and moved to uh, Lightroom, I haven't really looked back. And um, I use Luminar Flex primarily as a plugin, and that's because I think it's the greatest plugin ever. I mean, it's just awesome. Um, I know um, Skyloom's been running a special on Luminar Flex. I think it goes till uh, close to the end of July. I'll put a link down below if you want to check that out. But here we are in Lightroom. So what do I normally do here? Um, actually, let me back up a second. There's a couple of different ways you can get your photo from Lightroom over to Luminar. Um, if you go over to the file menu, you can go to export with preset. And when you come over here, you can see you have these different apps. You go down to Luminar Flex. You can edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments, which means, hey, I made some adjustments here in Lightroom and I wanna send those with the photo before I edit, the, edit it in uh, Flex, right? There's also open source files. And that is basically take my raw file and that'll be no edits and send it over to Luminar Flex. Um, you've also got plugin extras here. And this is a transfer to, and as you can see, you've got options here, and these are the different apps I have installed. But here's Luminar Flex, transfer to Luminar Flex. That'll take a raw file as well. Um, what I normally do, my workflow is, I'm in the photo, and I'll just go over here and say edit in, and I'll choose edit in Luminar Flex. I've already set that up as a preferred external editor, which you do over here in the preferences menu. And you can see down here, external editor, I've got Luminar Flex, you've got all these different apps that you can choose from, you pick your photo settings, etc. So that's kind of what I do. But before I transfer that over, I'll be in the develop module. And I'll do a couple of things here, right? So first, I want to straighten the photo seems a little crooked to me. Um, I think that's better. And so I've done that. I also want to maybe remove a couple of spots I've seen. So you know, I got some spots I'm seeing. Um, I'm not sure what's on my monitor versus what's actually on the photo. So I'm kind of clicking a few of these. Um, I'll often have to do that again at the end where I'll zoom into the photo just to make sure. Uh, there's a couple of things in the water and let's see, it's a couple of little pylons as well. I'm gonna say done. Uh, let's pretend that I did a good job there. I don't really know if I did. Um, and then some of the basic things I may do, I may come in here and take the highlights down, maybe take the shadows up a little bit, maybe add a tad of contrast or clarity, um, something like that. Basically what I'll often do in Lightroom is just get my photo to be the basic exposure settings, right? So basically I would either do it here or I do it in the develop module in Flex. Truthfully, sometimes I'll do it in develop in Flex and then come back here and maybe do some touch up, but I'll often do some of those basic settings here in Lightroom. So now my photo's ready, I'll say photo, edit in, edit in Luminar Flex. And here's where you get this option Hey Jim, do you want to edit a copy in Lightroom Adjustments? Yes, I do, or with Lightroom Adjustments. Yes, I do, which means the stuff I just edited uh, here in Lightroom is going to carry with the photo. Here are my basic settings. I stay in the Pro Photo RGB color space, 16-bit depth, 300 resolution, and a TIFF file. So I'll say Edit. This will launch Luminar Flex. So you give that a moment. It's going to open Flex. 
kick over there with those edits and I'll be ready to go. So here we go, I'm in Luminar Flex, which is the new update, includes Accent AI 2.0. I'm gonna close that filter catalog if I can hit it. Um, and this is not exactly a tutorial on what to do in Flex. I've got gobs of Lightroom, Lightroom uh, Luminar tutorials, uh, like 175 videos, I think. So I'll put that link up there to that playlist. I'm just gonna go over here and grab a preset. Um, and I'm gonna grab my Shaw preset uh, from my preset pack that you can buy in the Luminar Marketplace. I'm gonna take that down to, let's call it about you know, 55 or something like that. I think that looks good. There's a number of different um, filters that are included in this preset, but there's one thing that's not. And this is something I like to do in Luminar, whether it's Flex or Luminar 3 or even Luminar 2018. And that is I like to go get the structure filter on photos like this, and I like to add negative structure. And you've seen me do this a gazillion times, I'm sure. All it does is basically smooth out the photo. So as you can see, the photo got really soft. So here's the before, and here's the after, and I just wanna go paint that in. I'm gonna say brush, um, and what I wanna do is paint it into the sky and the water, but because sky and water actually take up a larger part of the photo than anything else, I'm actually just gonna instead say erase, and I'm gonna erase it from the parts of the photo uh, that I don't want it in, which is gonna be over here, uh, some of the land, and I'm doing this kind of roughly. Um, and also on the street here. And so I'm just kind of doing this pretty rough and pretty quick. You can always check your mask, which is not gonna be a great masking job because I'm moving kind of quick. But you know, we basically covered it. And the truth is you don't have to be exact. Um, it's not like a black and white where one thing is gonna be one and one's gonna be the other. So I'm gonna say done. And now my structure is gonna be, my negative structure is gonna be applied to the sky and the water. And all, and that's because I did a filter mask here. All of these other parts, which are the preset, applied globally, which means they went all across the photo. So, so far, I think I'm looking pretty good. Here's my before and here's my after. I really got some of that sunset color to pop. Let me show you the sliding door. You can see I kind of created a little bit of color where some actually probably didn't exist, which is one of the things I love to do in Luminar. It's so much power and that's why I use it as my preferred external editor for Lightroom, and that is because it has so much control over the color, which I love to experiment with. So I'm done with it. I'm gonna say apply. The nice thing about this workflow is it'll drop that, um, that edited photo back into Lightroom stacked or right next to the original, right? So here we are. Um, here's the original, this photo here that's gonna be the original photo, right? And here it is stacked. Now, let me get a develop module. So that's that. Now, what I'll often do is maybe do some minor touch up. Maybe I wanna experiment a little bit with uh, more contrast or something. Maybe I want a little bit of vibrance. Maybe I want a little bit of clarity. There's the new textures, you know, new texture slider. Uh, in this case, I might go over here to split toning and actually bump up the highlights a little bit more to give them a little bit more oomph. Just a tiny bit, I'm not trying to go over the top here, uh, but I was able to bump up that color a little bit if you look at the before and after. And um, you know, so that what I've done since I came back to Lightroom is not major, there it is before, and there it is after. Okay, so now I'm done with the photo and I'm just ready to export it. So I can just say file, export, choose my settings, uh, you know, pick a new file name, whoops, not file name, say edit, if I could hit it, and maybe call this uh, Austin, bridge, sunset, and say done, and then choose my settings. I'm gonna do like say maybe 50% size. I don't usually share full size things on the web. I'll do a JPEG and sRGB and say export. That'll drop it on my desktop and then I can put it on Flickr or my blog or whatever. But I just thought I would share that workflow because I don't really ever get into that kind of stuff and I do get questions about it from time to time. So. That's really it. I mean, I use Flex a lot as a plugin, although mostly you see my videos as a standalone, and that's simply because I'm showing how to do things within Flex. But for my own workflow, I'll often start in um, Lightroom and then move over to Flex, do these edits, come back to Lightroom. The nice thing about Lightroom is it manages all my keywords. I can go add more here and all that. Not really a Lightroom tutorial, but I hope that was helpful and uh, maybe insightful, and that's how I do it. So. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. I hope you're having a great day. 
Thanks again for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. And I do a few other things in Lightroom as well. I might drop a few more Lightroom tutorials in here to show how I, I use Lightroom um, because I do like it. I do use it. And while I don't consider myself a Lightroom expert, I'm fairly comfortable with it. And uh, especially my street photos, I do a lot of my street photography editing in uh, Lightroom just because it's simple and quick and it's got enough power to do what it is I'm trying to do with most of my street photos. So I'll be talking about that probably in a future video. But that's it for now, my friends. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Have a good day. Take care and adios.